In this part 3 of learning neural networks from scratch and implementing using C++ language, we are going to see what are loss functions, what are cost functions and what is the difference between them and how many loss functions are there and why do we use them and most importantly where to use which loss function. So keep watching this video to get the answer of all these questions. So I'll explain you loss function with an example. So all of us uh, could have at least given an exam at least once. So Obviously, if you have given exam, you might have got some marks and those marks are our accuracy. So when we subtract our total marks from our achieved marks, we get the loss, which is how wrong we have done our exam. So as an example, let's say there, there is an exam of 100 marks. We, we achieved 80 marks out of 100. So loss is 20 marks. So we know we have deviated from uh, deviated by 20 percent from the right achievement. So similarly in the neural networks, when we subtract the predicted value from the true value, make sure I'm saying predicted value is subtracted from the true value, then we get the loss or error, how much wrong our model has predicted. Now you might ask a question like why we need so many loss functions like categorical, cross entropy and mean squared error, mean absolute error, logarithmic function. So why do we need a lot of, why we not just subtract true value minus predicted value. Um, this is basically depend on the task. So if you are doing regression task, we need mean squared error. Mostly people use mean squared error. If we are doing uh, classification task, we use categorical functions. So you will come to know in a bit in this video. So until now, you know what is loss. It, it is just telling us how wrong our model actually is. And what is cost function? Cost is the average of all the samples. So as an instance, let us say uh, the first row true value is 1, but our model predicted 0.5. Second row value true value is 2, but our model predicted 1.5. Now we will calculate the loss from both of these samples and we will calculate the average and uh, which means we will sum both the losses and divide that by 2 and we will got the average loss which is called cost function or cost function. So this was all about loss and cost function. So why do we need loss function? I hope you got the answer just to make our uh, just to make understanding of our model how our model is performing on the data set. Not only this, um, the main crux of neural networks is the back propagation and this loss value which is the calculated loss value is used a lot of times to update the weights during back, back propagation and this is something which we are going to see in the next video. But in this video we are going to see how to calculate loss and where to use which loss. Now talking about losses, the losses can be calculated in three different conditions. So it means it, it is classified into three categories. First is regression loss functions, second is binary classification and the last is multi-class classification. So when to, what is regression first of all? Regression uh, is something when you want to predict real-time value. As an example, you want to predict the marks of student, then that would be a real, real value, not just a classification problem. If we want to talk about uh, whether a student will pass or fail, then that comes in the category of binary classification or predicting the class of cat or dog. This is called binary classification, which means when we have single output neuron as the um, output layer, then we use binary classification. So at last, what is multi-class classification when we have more than two classes to predict, it means we have more than one output neuron at the last layer. So that time we call this multi-class classification when we want to predict more than two classes. And, and more, always the last layer should have softmax function when we are calculating classification problems. So that was all about types of loss functions. Now we are going to see them one by one and we are going to implement them one by one. So first let us jump into regression functions. So I was searching on Google and found this image uh, from algorithma, uh, Algorithmia. And um, as you can see, this is the regression problem when you have to predict the real value which lies on regression line. So in this case we use regression function and there are in total three regression functions which are mostly used but one we are going to focus on is mean squared error loss function so we are going to learn about mean squared error just for example purpose i have drawn this simple regression problem and this red dot is um, the predicted value and this green dot is the true value so now what will happen we will just what we are going to do we'll just uh, in the mean squared error loss function we'll take this value 
minus this value and we will do the square of that and similarly when we talk about cost function we will do the same for all of these points all of these prediction uh, uh, true value minus prediction and then at last we will divide by total number of values and this is what uh, mean squared loss function is when we talk about mean absolute error we don't do square but we do we take mod of that which means um, just to get rid of negative part and this is something we are doing in um, mean squared error also we are just squaring just to get rid of um, the negative value so this is a really simple regression mean squared error or mean squared absolute loss function so we are going to so i'm going to open the code blocks and we are going to create a function which is going to do return nothing and we'll call mse in short mean squared error going to take nothing all right so as our data set let us see all right so this is the data set uh, which we are going to work with it is uh, the true output value and this is the predicted output value which means um, red dots and green dots so now what we are going to code is we will just uh, take 1 minus 0 0.5 and we will square it 2 minus 1.5 and we will square it and add that up with the previous result and so on and at last we'll just divide by a total number of values so for that purpose we'll include math.h also and as a ref friends or sidekick variable will take sum and it is going to be of double type also if you go on google.com and search for mean squared error formula you will see this one and this is something which we are doing we are this is just y i is the um, observed value which is true value and y i hat is the predicted value and we square that and we then sum all these values and then divide by n and this is something we are doing so we'll use for loop for that purpose we'll say for in i is equal to zero and i is less than Three, which is the number of samples so he'll simply say i plus plus and you know we'll say some plus is equals to yeah that's it and at last we'll just divide that by uh, three which is the number of samples and we'll show the output and in the main function we'll call this mse and let us try running this and see if we get any error or not and there is a logical error obviously and we we forgot to do the square of this so we'll use Pow function for that pow of um, this of power 2 and I hope everything is fine and this is the loss and this is the accuracy accuracy is achieved by subtracting this loss by 100 let's run this and we got the output as 1 and 99 percent and this is another data set and this is the another set of predicted values so now if we run this you will see that the loss is 0 0.25 and the accuracy is 99.75 and if we make this value as same as the true value then you can see that the loss is 0 and the accuracy is 100 and this was all about mean squared error function and now we are going to look on binary classification function which is popularly a binary cross entropy loss function so now we are going to look at that and as always i will um, look at google and i found uh, this image from uh, towards data science website this is really good in learning um, new things about programming so this is all about a formula of binary cross entropy and how it is calculated for now you might be thinking uh, that this formula is too much complex but trust me it is the simplest loss function formula you would have ever seen so i'll open up my drawing skills once again and we'll try to show you how the formula is achieved and how the loss is calculated so first of all what is happened the true value is get multiplied with log of predicted value okay so the true value is get multiplied by log of predicted value and then it is added times log of 1 minus predicted value and this all result returns a negative value so we, we also add extra negative to get rid of negative loss so now we'll have a look why these two terms are added okay so let us take up example of binary classification quickly so let us say zero uh, we are making a neural network to predict uh, cat and dog and zero stands for cat and one stands for dog right okay so so what will happen uh, true value so let us say our input sample is of cat image and our model has predicted with accuracy of 0 0.3 it means it has predicted somewhat that it is cat so it means true value is going to be 0 and predicted value is going to be 0 
right so now let us replace them over here so the true value is zero and now you know that zero multiplied by anything is nothing which is zero and it is then added to one minus zero and this is going to be one times log of one minus prediction which is 0 0.7 which is log of 0 0.7 and this is going to be a negative value this will be added as uh, one more negative sign and at last we'll uh, get this one times log of 0 0.7 as a prediction now next time let us say we passed in the sample of one which is dog and that time that one minus uh, true value which is one minus one is going to be zero and this term is going to get cancelled and this term is going to be used and at that time one times log of that accuracy is going to be calculated so now i think you should know how why we used two terms over here and it is written over here also that it says this cancel out if the target is zero and this cancel out if the target is one so the binary classification is only going to be used in when you have only single output neuron and you only have the value ranging from zero to one which means you have to use softmax or the sigmoid function otherwise this is not going to work perfectly okay so now you know how binary cross entropy function works and where to where you should use this binary cross entropy now we are going to implement in c++ language so we'll say void binary cross entropy bce and for the data set we are going to use double okay so the true value is 0 and the predicted value is 0 0.3 this time we are only going to work with single sample later on i will just extend it to but for making things simple we'll do this so we'll iterate in y for int all right so what i have done we have created a loop which runs in the length of this data set and uh, the first part is written over here which is true value times log of predicted value so it is written over here true value times log of predicted value and now we will add the one minus part of this okay so we have written this part also which is uh, the first part and this is the second part i hope we haven't made any mistake and at last we'll um, say sum is equals to minus sum and at last we'll just divide that by one because we have only single sample and we'll just show it to the user okay let's come below over here and change this function to bce and if we run this and we got minus one there is something problem uh, this is the problem we have to do it something like this and yeah everything looks fine let's try running this and we see that the loss is 0 0.35 and um, if you try to calculate this manually prob probably you would get this let us try changing this to 0 and see if we get 0 as a loss or not and it is an a n not a null value and let us try making this really small value 0.001 and you can see that uh, the loss is reducing when we are reaching the predicted value all right so this was about binary cross entropy and now we are going to look at multi class classification function loss function and in that we oftenly mostly use categorical cross entropy and for that we again have to come in google and the function is not much complex at least more similar uh, more easier as compared to uh, this binary cross entropy this is simply just uh, true value multiplied by log of predicted value plus uh, true value times log of predicted value and so on and at last we just add a extra negative sign to get rid of negative loss now before understanding this you should know what is categorical or two categorical function do so we'll do so let us take an example of predicting from three classes where zero is for um, cat one is for dog and two is for human and this is something our data set will going to look something like this and what you have to do is convert this to two categorical so as we have three classes so it will going to look something like this so we have three columns so now uh, wherever the class is to be predicted that will be converted to one it means over here it should be one and uh, next uh, over here one stands for dog so we'll say something like this and if we want to predict cat we'll do zero one zero and zero something like this but for now keeping things simple we only have two samples so what is doing it is doing it is just converting this to categorical and now we'll have three output neurons and each of this neuron will will represent this particular column 
okay so now you should get an idea that we have to use softmax function at the last layer because we want to assign the probability and all of them sum to one all right so now let us take an example that the output from this is 0 0.1 and output from this is 0 0.7 and output from this is 0 0.2 and all of the all of them will sum to one and now this is for second sample so now what will happen zero will get multiplied by log of 0 0.1 and 1 will get multiplied by log of 0 0.7 and 0 will get multiplied by log of 0 0.2 and obviously this will be simplified only by 1 multiplied by log of 0 0.7 because 0 times anything is 0. So this is about categorical cross entropy and you should get an idea uh, if in past you have done two categorical imported from Keras uh, utils I guess. So if you have imported but don't know why you are doing that. So this is the reason why oh, you are doing that. Now you might ask a question like why we can't use mean squared error over here just to reduce the computation power since that will going to uh, say 0 minus 0 0.1 and 1 minus 0 0.7 and 0 minus 0 0.2 and these all will going to have some value some non-zero value and obviously this will increase the computation plus most importantly this will increase the uh, reduce the generalization but in classification we prefer generalization rather than um, non-generalization so this was about um, a categorical cross entropy function now we are uh, hopefully you know about it now we are going to code it so i have created a function called cce which is categorical cross entropy we'll create a data set and y will be having three values and let us take an example of 0 0 and 1 right and similarly y prediction this is the prediction right so let us say 0 0.1 0 0.2 3 0.6 so this is our data set this is the uh, true value and this is the predicted value now we have to calculate the categorical cross entropy loss so we'll say for plus we will use sum also okay so what we are doing over here we are running a loop equals to the number of columns in the data set a predicted output neurons right so what we are going to do we'll say log of and this should be y i times log of y prediction i it is as simple as this and at last we'll add up extra negative sign we'll divide that by one because we have only single sample if you are doing for multiple samples you would need 2d array you would need to create 2d array and you would need to run nested loops and at last we'll show the result to the user and we'll change this to cce and let us run and see if we get any error or not and it says the loss is 0 0.51 and which is a lot of loss so let us do one thing let us try changing this to 0 0 and 1 and run this and the loss is not a null which means really okay so as you can see let us try changing this to 0 0.5 and now you can see this is this is making very bad prediction let us try running this and the loss is increased to 0 0.91 let us reduce this to 1 and you can see the loss is 2.3 and the loss is 6.9 for the value of 0 0.001 why i'm not changing this because they don't matter because this is 0 and 0 0 times anything is 0 all right so this was all about categorical cross entropy I hope you got an idea about these three loss functions regression, binary classification and multi-class classification loss functions and now you should know how all of them work and where to use which loss function most importantly if you have any queries regarding this you may ask them in down comment section plus if you feel like I made any silly mistake in this code I will link all this code in down github link you may uh, create a pull request and I would have a look on that and if I if I made very big mistake let me know in down comment section I will surely go, going to apologize for that all right so this is it for losses and in the upcoming part in this series we are going to do back propagation which is the main crux of neural network and I hope you all might be interested in it and with this said bye